Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see what is a broaching machine and how they are classified. Broaching machine is nothing but surface finishing machine and how the exact operation is done by using the number of teeth can be seen in this video. So, in this diagram you can see there is a broach tool which has some number of teeth. So, how a broach tool is used? If there is a single tool, it is in the form of normal tool. If it is this much big size, it has some kind of roundness and it has teeth on its surface. So, some teeth are normal roughing teeth, some are semi-finishing teeth and the other teeth are finishing teeth. So, in this way, the broaching tool is inserted in a hole. Again, I'm telling you, broach machine can be generally used to broach a hole, that is to finish a hole. The tool is inserted in a hole and it is taken out. Hence, in one stroke, a single broaching it can be done. So, there are three types of teeth which helps in the proper finishing, like roughing. There are more roughing teeth than semi finishing as well as finishing teeth. So, if I'll classify a broaching machine, they can be horizontal, vertical, rotary, as well as continuous broaching machine. So, in this diagram, you can see there is a horizontal broaching machine. It is not carried out manually. It is carried in the form of a machine. So, it is carried out horizontally on the surface. So, the whole arrangement is kept horizontal and even the tool is kept horizontally. So, as I say, the tool has a number of teeth. It has to go inside the workpiece and has to get removed. So, in this way, horizontal broaching machine works. So, if I talk about a vertical broaching machine, it works on the principle of push and pull broaching. So, the tool goes inside your object and it comes out, but the whole arrangement is vertical and not horizontal and it is a push and pull arrangement. So, what happens is continuously broaching takes place in any of the machine, whether it can be horizontal as well as vertical. So, in this diagram, you can see it is a different kind of broaching operation that is continuous broaching operation. You can see there is a broach tool at one end and the object to be broached, that is the object to be finished, is rotating continuously. So, the upper part of that object, which is in the form of block in the current picture, can be easily finished by just rotating and the tool is stationary. So, the object is rotating and the upper part is getting finished continuously. So, the objects which is to be broached are kept and you can see the tool is having some teeth which helps in broaching. So, this is an example of a rotary broaching machine in which some kind of angle is given to the broach tool to give the broach that is your exact broaching operation but in the form of rotary motion. So, these were some general classification of broaching tools. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and do subscribe our channel Ikeda.